Just like you, I get my knives from a variety of sources. I usually go where the best prices are, and if I can get the lowest, or actually free shipping too. That often factors in as well. One of my sources is this place, Brigade Quartermaster. I've been shopping for, for, from them for many years, since the 80s actually. It's ever since I've been in the military. And they're a big military supporter too, so I love Brigade in that way. This is one of their catalogs, obviously well worn. And man, how I love it when a place like this has a good knife se selection. And they're one of the few that do it. It's very hard to get a good selection of knives in any catalog form so you can peruse it. So good job, Brigade. I love that. Um, this catalog is a couple years old. And again, you can see it's gone through a fair amount of bathroom reading. How you doing? And I'm going to use it as a jump off point for the review of this knife. And a couple years ago, I was looking at an Ontario model in here, and I really liked it, specifically the Ontario Rat Model 1. Folding knife, folding tactical knife, in my opinion. Great knife, I think. At least that's what I thought when I read the description. I liked the making of it. Um, I was very, always have been very happy with all my Ontario knives, especially those Rat. The, mo the rats, uh, the Rat Model 3 and the Rat 7, which I re also reviewed, the fixed blades. Those are excellent knives. Now, that being said, I know there might be some politics between Ontario using the Rat uh, logo, logo and then Randall knives. I'm not going to get into that. I really don't have time to. I'm just going to talk about the blades, but I'll just acknowledge that there might be a, a rift there. However, Ontario, it looked to me, did a really good job with the Rat. However, as you see on my catalog, I marked it with an X. And the reason I had it with an X is because it was 5 ounces, which to me was a little bit on the heavy side. Again, I like my tactical blades come in under 4 ounces, if at all possible. But that being said, there's always exceptions to every rule, and I liked everything I saw about this knife. But when I considered the 5 ounces, and then I considered the price at the time, which is 70 bucks. Uh, $69.99, I was like, eh, I'm going to hold off. So that was two years ago. Fast forward to, to uh, two weeks ago, I just happened to go to their website, Brigade Quartermaster. By the way, they have a website, I think it's actiongear.com. That's how you get there. And I noticed this little knife was 35 bucks, Half price. So I don't know if they're clearing the knife out, if they're discontinuing it. However, there were none in stock. They were accepting back orders, and I went ahead and put in some back orders. Actually, I'll tell you, hopefully I'll remember to tell you how to get even cheaper if you're military through AFES.com. However, if you can get into this knife under $40, I think that's totally worth it. So, long story short, I ordered three. Two black, one combo edge, one plain edge, and then the satin finish plain edge as well. That one's still on back order. I got the two black. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Let's get to it. This is how the knives get to you, and there is a lot to talk about these knives. It's a cheesy box. It's kind of the overseas Chinese box. They didn't put a lot of money into the packaging, but that is fine by me. As long as the knife is good, that's what the main thing I worry about. And that's the knife. This is what I do with the packaging when it's this cheesy anyhow. Toss it. This is the wrap model one. Plain edge, black finish. My overall impression when I took it out of the box was I was impressed. This is a good knife. In fact, it met my expectations with a couple exceptions, which I'll talk about. So let's get into the specifics. How about the blade? Well, first off, it has that really cool upswept clip blade that Rat is known for. In fact, it mimics, mimics its bigger brothers, the full, or the full, can't speak tonight, sorry, the fixed blade versions which have that same blade sh shape. Just like the Rat 3 and the Rat 7, which I've reviewed. Expect more reviews on Rat Knives in the future. I love the blade shape. I think it's a very high utility blade shape we can use for a lot of different tasks. It's just perfect. Can we use it as a, in a defensive role? Uh, I would say definitely yes. Uh, now some of y'all might say, well that's a sucky design for a defensive blade. I mean it's not sharpened, there's no up you know, beveled sharp point for piercing attacks. Well, I believe you could use this in a thrust attack with no problem. It's not optimized for that, definitely, however you could use it. I would also submit that most of your defensive blade use would not be in a thrust, it would be in a sweep, like this. 
that would be generally how you're going to be using your knife. It's much more natural and you can do a lot more damage that way with your blade than you can with a pierce. So that being said, it's a great utility shape and a great defensive shape in my opinion. What's the blade made out of? Os 8 Jap Japanese steel. Not a bad steel. I've had good experience with it in my Spyderco knives uh, years ago in my Enduras that at the time were made out of Os 8. It's a high carbon, medium chromium steel, which how you doing can rust on you. That's the downside of Os 8. So don't keep it wet. It's not good for high moisture environments in my, in my experience unless you keep it oiled up with like rim oil or something. However, it keeps an edge well, takes an edge nicely, and it's a decent high quality steel in my opinion. And it's adequate for this knife. I have no problems with them using it. Also, Cold Steel has used it extensively and I've had great experience with my Cold Steel knives in Os8 as well. The edge as it comes out of the box is very sharp. I was very pleased with it. I'll see if I can demonstrate that. A little bit of it. That is pretty smoking for an out of the box knife. Of course, every knife should come like that out of the box. Good job, Ontario. That is wicked. Especially for a $32 knife. Amazing. So the blade is excellent. Great shape. Adequate thickness, good steel. However, I'm going to give it one hit, and that's this cheesy black finish on here. Now, when we the company's trying to get this at a certain price point, something has to give. And what gave is the blade finish. They basically painted it. Yeah, you heard me. That's paint on that blade. It's not anything durable. Expect it to chip and look pretty crappy through use. But you know what? At this price point, I don't care. And it's going to look cool anyhow. It's going to look like you know what you're doing. When you pull out a blade that's heavily used and it's got scratches and scrapes on it, it looks cool. It just looks awesome. It looks like you know what you're talking about when you, when you pop that blade out. How about deployment speed and lockup? Excellent. Very fast deploying knife. Locks up super tight. No wiggle on, in any dimension at all. It's just awesome. Liner lock design. The liner lock is comfortable. doesn't pinch the hand. And that takes us to the handle. The handle is full stainless steel, hardened liners. And I'm going to tell you at the end here how I kind of improved the design. But as it comes, it's adequate. And they put Zytel scales on it. Um, that's another hit I'll give the knife. It's kind of slick on these scales. And again, they're trying to bring this knife at a decent price point. They put G10 or my card on there. You're looking at a $100 knife probably. So it's not the best handle mater material. It's slick. By the way, the jimping up here is not super sharp. That's another hit. I really like to see that dig in the thumb, make it adequately sharp so we could get good purchase on it. But at least they have a, a thumb ramp here. And the choil here is deep enough for your index finger so you can lock in adequately. Not a bad design. Got the rat symbol on the side, Model 1 Os8, Taiwan on the other side. Again, I don't care where blades are made. As long as the quality control is good, like this one obviously was, the blade can serve really nicely. The Zytel scales are attached to the stainless steel liners by many torque screws and they're well done. Very high quality screws. You can adjust your pivot on both sides so if you want your deployment speed is too much you can back them off. Again I recommend Loctiting those and they are, they are Loctited as they come from the factory. There's going to be some other videos I'll post to this show you about my modifications I made to my RAT Model 1's but I was impressed to see they have phosphor bushings and Teflon bushings inside. So excellent job. Really nice. I love how you can move the clip on anywhere you want it. It's pre-drilled and it's a nice hardened stainless steel and blackened. Yeah, it's that same paint again, but at least they have it so you can move it around. Good job. Yeah, I would like it to be deeper. It sucks how shallow it's going to ride in your pocket. But overall, de very decent. So that's this one. Here's the combo one. Nice serrations. They're not too deep. I mostly favor plain edges, but this one is really nicely done. It's the same as this other one. I'll post an addendum when I get the plain edge. Also, I made these lighter from the 5 ounce weight by taking off the scales and drilling my stainless steel liners out heavily. And I got these weighing at about 4.8 ounces now. And they are a nice knife. For the money, it's an excellent knife. Look for my other videos. I'll talk about how I drilled these out. But for the money, you're not going to beat the Ontario Rat 1 for a heavy-duty, able-to-take-it folding tactical knife. Thanks for tuning in.